Hey everybody, how are we doing today? Uh, I'm doing great, thanks. Uh, we have uh, plenty to cover today, so why don't I uh, just get to it? All right, so we are in week 12 and we are shifting gears. I'm recording this a little bit ahead of time, so I have no idea what the uh, you know uh, submission rate is going to be for the research essay. I take it as it comes. I've had classes that everybody turns it in sort of on the official due date, and I've had classes where very few do that, and uh, most or many, many, many wait until the uh, you know the unofficial, the the drop dead uh, due date. So I'll have a little more to say about that probably indirectly to you or through an announcement once um, those start rolling in. But I'm excited to see your research essays. They uh, hopefully will be very good. I'm rooting for you. Uh, and of course, if you have any questions, email me. But that's not what the screencast is about. The screencast is about uh, our final foray into argumentation and primary research collection and uh, document preparation. And what's really different about this uh, assignment, different from anything we've done, uh, if, certainly since January and absolutely since August, is uh, the the method or the mode in which we present uh, our, our findings for this last assignment, the Collaborative Multimodal Project or the CMP. Uh, and so the words are, all three words are there, collaborative. You know what collaborative means. Uh, You'll be working with other people, multimodal, and then it's a it's a project. That one's maybe a little less. So, so uh, what do you have to do this week? You have to uh, read my assignment for the collaborative multi multimodal project, and it's my plan. If I can squeeze another screencast in today or uh, by the end of this week, uh, I want to make a separate uh, one for the assignment as well. That's probably not as interesting to you. Okay, so uh, I'll I'll save the rubric for that screencast as well. What I want you to do this week. And this is for no matter where you are in the research essay process, um, by this date, by that, by Thursday, April 12th, I need you to sign up for a collaborative multimodal team. This sheet should look pretty familiar to a good bunch of you. Um, again, I, you can go, let me go big here for a second. Uh, your team can be as big or as not big as you'd, uh, as you'd like. If you want to work in uh, pairs, uh, I would appreciate if you asked my permission for that. Uh, otherwise, I may end up throwing someone on your team without knowing that you would rather work in the, as, as a pair. Uh, what else? If you go above five, five even for me is a bit of a big number for a collaborative project, but you want to go bigger than five. You want to, I've seen teams of six and seven, about eight, but I've seen some pretty high number teams, uh, you know, attempt this project uh, to varying degrees of success. So that's something you want to try. Uh, go right ahead. Uh, you'll notice that I have, I go back to the screen here. I have, you know, one through five on here for team uh, member names. And there's also sort of unofficial room for six and seven if you want. So if you are interested in being uh, a team, you know, two person team, so you could put, you know, Steve and I'll put, oh, maybe my daughter will be on my team. Wouldn't that be nice? Okay. Uh, if just uh, Steve and Estelle on one team, put some X's down here like this on your team so that the rest of us, can you see that? Let me make it a little bigger maybe if you're watching this on a bigger screen. See, uh, so if you do want to be just a two person team or if you don't want me to add anybody to your team, uh, put X's under. So even if it's, you know, let's see, if you're Steve, Stell, let's say, even if you're three like that, um, or what the heck, let's put my wife on the team as well. Um, go ahead and just X out the remaining areas so that I know that you don't want anyone else on your team that you're feeling good about your prospects. If you're just kind of putting your name up there, you don't want to put the X's on it because uh, you don't know who you're going to work with yet. So anyway, um, by Thursday, uh, the 12th here, put yourself on a team. Um, and if you're not on here, this is one of my, uh, I don't know, more interesting days of the uh, semester where I get I get to get out my entire class roster, make sure that every name is on that uh, on the sheet somewhere. And for everyone whose name isn't, I put you all on a team, sort of a, uh, an island of misfit toys. Sometimes, sometimes those teams work out. It's not always a disaster, but it's usually a disaster. Uh, so find a team to work with. Uh, it can be people that are in your same, you know, mod. It can be people that you know. It can be complete strangers. Uh, this is an online class, so you technically should be uh, capable of working with anyone anywhere. Uh, so uh, and doing so completely digitally at that. So uh, get yourself on a team. Okay. Um, like I say, uh, email me permission for a team that is uh, less than three or greater than five. Uh, if you don't have a team, one will be assigned for you. Uh, just be clear. 
let's see. Um, some t some people just jump on teams, and that's where the, those X's are very useful. Uh, I can't say this early enough, and I think a lot of you who uh, you, you took comp one, so you're already pretty much aware of this. But take detailed notes about who does what, and uh, keep really clear deadlines communicated between all people. Uh, you know, some of you. I don't suspect. I don't. Uh, I have not diagnosed many of you with senioritis. Maybe it's because the weather has been so absolutely cruddy out. Uh, I'm not uh, uh, detecting a strong, you know, uh, uh, infection rate of senioritis or anything like end of school year uh, uh, laziness yet. But there's always one or two people that just sort of drop off the face of the earth and don't carry their load. They don't carry their water for the collaborative multimodal project, and it's usually because they maybe limped to the finish with a research essay and they're just sort of over this class. Sad to say, it happens. Don't um, don't be one of those people, first of all. But uh, if you uh, happen to be on a team with one of those people, please make sure that you're documenting all the deadlines that you've given them and uh, how they're you know how they're blowing them, how they're not responding to group texts, that sort of thing. Okay, uh, never too soon to be thinking about that, because part of this assignment is learning about how to collaborate, how to work with other people. Because unless you're going to be you know, uh, a park ranger or, um, you know, uh, I don't know, <laughs> very few uh, jobs out there. You're going to work with other people. You're going to collaborate. You're going to be expected to work with uh, uh, in teams, no matter what you do. Even sort of silo work like like what I do. I mean, you guys are, you're my coworkers most of the time, Think if you think about it in a, in a weird way. Uh, but I do have other coworkers, and I'm expected to collaborate with them on subcommittees, on standing committees on campus. I'm chairing a committee uh, this semester. Um, chairing a couple of committees and getting people to do work uh, as a team is difficult and we're all you know finger quotes again uh, grown-ups so uh, I, I understand that it's difficult that's why I think documentation is really going to be your friend all right so uh, then so once you're on a team get together with that team and complete the following assignment so the sooner you get on a team etc cetera, etc cetera, the sooner you can get all this done what I want you to do is send me an email and make sure that you send it from the entire group okay uh, make sure it's going to be sent from from one person but make sure everybody's emails on there make sure everybody's email is correct on that email that you send me that way I have a really quick uh, email in my inbox where if I need to track you guys down if I have a quick question or if I want to do a sort of a you know a little bit of a heat check and see where you guys are at uh, I can do so in a quick and easy way for all of us and then anyone can reply you can all reply uh, sending me this email is nice and helpful so you'll want to have a team name uh, the more clever the better and also make sure that your team name is up here as well. Once you pick your team name, team name, go back to this sheet and um, replace it because that's going to be a nice uh, shorthanded way for me to get to know who you are. Uh, and then, you know, a couple other things. Topics you're thinking about exploring. You don't have to be locked in anything yet. Although, of course, you know, you know my song and dance about starting early. Primary research, uh, you'll be conducting uh, more on that when you watch the collaborative multimodal screencast. And um, any questions or concerns. And then you have a bunch of reading to do. Okay, so I created a separate document instead of having a big long list. And I will, as always, be adding to these uh, documents uh, as I find more stuff. I'll try to do a deep dive. Um, I'll save this for the other screencast, but like multimodal projects are not like lighting the world on fire is like the newest and most interesting idea, but it's still sort of in our syllabus. Uh, and uh, I've said too much. Uh, so anyway, I'll see if I can find more readings. Your textbook does a pretty good job of delivering presentations and working as a team. So uh, read, you know, read the uh, multimodal readings. Check these out. These are a little more focused on the multimodal aspect of the assignment. Your textbook is a bit more on, uh, you know, preparing uh, a presentation for an audience as opposed to, you know, something else. And uh, go written document uh, and also on the nature of collaboration. Okay, uh, reader response three. It's our last one of the semester. Uh, I'm probably going to be uh, pretty late in grading these, not that you have to care, but uh, I will have a lot of research essays coming in, I imagine, during the same time that the reader response is due. Um, so take that as you want. If you want to uh, uh, prioritize that accordingly, go right ahead. I will be doing the same. But uh, I'm, you know, some of these uh, readings are videos. Some are, uh, you know, they're TED Talks or they're, um, you know, uh, uh, sort of more like uh, audio pieces with visual accompaniments. They'll make more sense once you read up on, uh, you know, collab. Uh, I'm sorry, on uh, multimodal. <laughs> Maybe went to a Starbucks this morning. Once you read up on multimodal uh, uh, composition, that'll make a little more sense. But the assignment for the reader response, I'm not going to tweak it at all. Uh, just approach it loosely, since there are many presentation formats uh, to choose from. So here we are, guys. Uh, we're in uh, week 12. So let me think about 12, 13. 14, 15. We have um, just a couple of weeks to go, and uh, it's pretty much all going to be spent on getting this 
collaborative multimodal project uh, up and running and off the ground. So uh, the sooner you get on a team, the sooner you can start collaborating, the sooner you can start brainstorming topics and setting yourself up for success. Uh, please don't sleep on this assignment, even though you are only one fraction of its overall you know, sort of uh, uh, effectiveness, or you're only pulling a quarter of the load or a third of the load, uh, that, uh, that's a good opportunity. It's also a dangerous one. So make sure that the people that you're working with are people that you want to work with. Uh, pull, your own, uh, pull your own weight. That's all. That's my best advice. Get started early. And of course, uh, send me your questions and, uh, you know, uh, invite me to your classroom. Invite me to have a uh, FaceTime session with you and your team. I would love to be uh, involved in these. I'll probably repeat that desire uh, pretty often. So anyway, I hope you're doing well. Uh, it's nice to, you know, see you. Take care.